Hi Cancer, this is your November mid-month tarot reading. I do three separate spreads in my mid-month readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage, and I'll do love from the past, aka the X spread. Please like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is a new love in the second half of November. We have the Six of Swords clarified by the Seven of Swords. We have the Moon clarified by the Fool. We also have the Sun in the potential outcome. We have the Six of Wands with the Two of Cups and the Four of Wands. And uh, we also have the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with uh, Pisces or an Aries or a Leo or any Zodiac sign. As a matter of fact, you will know who this is because this is a very, very specific story. Cancer, here's the deal. At first, when the two of you start seeing each other, you're gonna do you're gonna be doing that in secret. You're not gonna be letting anybody know. Perhaps this is already happening, and uh, in the second half of November, you will make it official. You will let everybody know that you are seeing each other, or you have been seeing each other, and now you're getting serious. Um, there could be so many reasons why you're doing that, and I'm not judging you, I'm not calling you out, right? Um, perhaps uh, your parents or your friends disapprove for whatever reason. This person could be from a different background, right? Uh, perhaps this person used to date your best friend or, or somebody in your family, your, your sibling or something like that, right? Uh, perhaps this is somebody you work with and uh, perhaps you think it would be inappropriate for everybody at work to find out about it right away until you guys know that you're getting serious, right? So whatever the case, again, in the beginning, you're seeing each other in secret, right? So, yeah, we have the Six of Swords clarified by the Seven of Swords, right? Uh, the Six of Swords is a card of moving forward, uh, perhaps moving on from somebody or moving away from something. Um, the Seven of Swords, clarifying it, <laughs> this is a card of, um, um, it's a card of sneaking around, okay? Um, it is a card of sneaking around, okay? And in this case, this will most likely play out in the way that you're not letting anybody know that you're, you're seeing each other, right? The Moon, the next card over, could be a Pisces you're dealing with, but the Moon is a card of secrets, right? The Moon, for the most part, comes out during the night. The Fool, clarifying the Moon, could be an Aries you're dealing with, but uh, the Fool is a card of taking a leap of faith. You are, Basically, what this means is you don't care what other people think, you're still going to do it. You're still moving forward with this person. You're still seeing each other. Um, the Sun, the next card over, could be a Leo you're dealing with, but the Sun is the happiest card in the deck. You're doing this because this person makes you happy, and that's all that matters to you. And uh, I would just have to assume you make them happy as well. The thing about the Sun card, it's also a card of clarity, right? It's very symbolic that we have the Moon and the Sun in the same spread, and they came out one after the other. The Moon is a card of secrets, the Sun is a card of clarity, right? So you guys are going to make it official, you guys will um, an announce it, I guess, that you are together. Right, the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck all the way to right. This is you guys making it official and uh, starting this new cycle in the open, so to speak. The Wheel of Fortune is always good news in my spreads. For some of you with the Wheel of Fortune, you could be moving in together. And I do see you guys actually committing. Right, uh, in the potential outcome, we have the Six of Wands with the Two of Cups and the Four of Wands. The Six of Wands is a card of victory. So again, you somebody could be doing this against other people's will. Um, but you don't care. You just don't care. You know that this is the right thing to do. You make each other happy and that's all that matters, right? The Six of Wands is a card of victory, success, and back in the day the Six of Wands used to be called the Proposal card. And it kind of makes sense that the Proposal card is here because we got the Four of Wands and the Two of Cups as well. The Two of Cups, this is you and them. This is a card of a soulmate connection. It's a card of when two people um, are in love with each other, two people feel the same way towards one another, right? And um, the four of ones right next to it is a card of a commitment or marriage. Some people call the four of ones the 11 11 card. To me personally, this card always reminds me of an actual wedding because in some cultures, when people get married, they do it underneath the structure with the leaves and branches on top of it. But, uh, you know, and and the and this structure always reminds me of, uh, of uh, when people get married. Thing. But uh, essentially, it is a commitment to marriage card. So, yeah, 
you don't care you know people will definitely be talking <laughs> but cancer you just don't care you know what you're doing they know what you're doing and that's all. and you make each other happy you're in love with each other and that's all that matters all right so i'm not even going to do an extended for you cancer because i think you guys got it it me doing an extended would be a waste of time really happy for you congratulations Cancer, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, the spread is for you. We have the 201s clarified by the Ace of Wands, we have the 6 of Wands clarified by the Queen of Wands and uh, the King of Wands <laughs> and the Page of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Wow, Cancer, look at you two, huh? Getting all fired up, getting all excited about some kind of a new beginning, okay? Um, this new beginning will um, involve you either paying something for it or uh, purchasing something for it. Perhaps both of you want to join the gym, right? And that will most likely require for you guys to buy a, a bottle of water, uh, gloves, what have you. You could be starting your own business right away, right? Um, tis the season <laughs> for some of you. Um, others of you could be joining a cl some, some club or starting a club. Right? Um, yeah, lots and lots of ones. You're the king and the queen of ones. This usually is my partners in crime couple. Whenever the king and the queen of ones come out in the same spread, that's what I usually call it. Partners in crime. Well, hopefully not literally. But what this usually translates into, you guys are, both of you are on the, you're on the same page about what you're doing. Both of you want this. Both of you, um, you know, all are all excited about it, right? And uh, the Two of Wands, clarified by the Ace of Wands, this is you guys perhaps uh, deciding as to what you want to do or how you want to do this. Perhaps you're looking at multiple options. You know, you could be thinking about joining a gym or starting a club or joining a club or joining some kind of an adventure club. <laughs> Right then, or starting a business, right? The Ace of Wands is a card of a passionate new beginning. It's a card of an inspiration. It's a card of a bright idea, what have you. The Six of Wands, this is you guys feeling good about this new beginning. And the Page of Pentacles, right? It looks a little <laughs> out of place with all the Wands cards here, but I think the Page of Pentacles, this is you either paying for something or purchasing something, right? The page of, if you're joining a club or a gym, this is you uh, purchasing membership. If you're thinking about starting your own business, perhaps you're purchasing tools or what have you. If you are thinking about uh, doing something, that will still involve for you guys to spend a little bit of money to get the show started, to get this on the road. All right? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Cancer, this um, second half of November. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent X. We have the Ten of Wands, clarified by the Ten of Swords. Um, we have uh, the Three of Wands, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. We have uh, the King of Swords, clarified by the Magician. And we also have the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. I think you guys will get back together. Cancer. You're dealing with this King of Swords, uh, clarified by the Magician. Could be an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. We do start off with the Ten of Wands, clarified by the Ten of Swords. And it's in the past. It's in the past. The Ten of Wands is a card of a burden. It's a card of a lot of responsibilities. It's a card of something that's tough. It's a card of something that takes a toll on us. So perhaps there were some issues, obstacles, things that you couldn't overcome in the past, but I think now you will. Perhaps this time apart uh, made you guys realize that whatever those obstacles were, they don't matter, right? Or perhaps those obstacles are no longer there, right? Uh, because the Ten of Wands is coming, uh, it is coming to an end. The Ten of Swords clarifying the Ten of Wands is a card of an abrupt ending. And I think this is either something that was in, in the way that's actually disappearing, or perhaps you guys are changing your approach, you're changing uh, whatever whatever thing that was causing those issues, it's not going to be an issue anymore with the Ten of Swords. Perhaps this person uh, decided to change a, a few things about themselves, right? Perhaps they realized they were wrong and they're like, oh, you know what, what whatever I used to do, whatever I used to say it was not right. It was wrong and it's not going to be a problem anymore, right? I think 
this is what you're going to be talking about when the two of you get together for a conversation. And I, I, I see a conversation happening here. And the, that's what you're going to be talking about. Whatever issues you had in the past, they're not going to be issues anymore. Right? And uh, with the thing I want clarified by the Ace of Pentacles, I think you guys are deciding to move forward. The thing I want is a card of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made a decision. And uh, it could be coming from the King of Swords. They are deciding to change. They are deciding to leave those issues behind. Right? And uh, instead, focus on the future together with you. Focus on what actually matters, not those pity little things, if there are more little pity things. Right, and here they come with the Ace of Pentacles. They are deciding to um, make a very serious move towards you. The Ace of Pentacles often comes through as a proposal, by the way. And I see this all the time, Cancer, when people think that the only way to get somebody back is to propose to them, and it often works. Right, but I think this is more than just a proposal. Like I said, with the, with the uh, Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords, clarifying it, something changed. Something changed. Something is no longer an issue. Something is no longer an obstacle for whatever reason. Right? So the King of Swords is clarified by the Magician. Um, if this person is a Gemini, it makes total sense. The Magician is a, a Gemini card. But at the same time, the Magician is a card of manifestation and it's a card of taking action. Right? So they did something in, in the past or they just did something in order for those obstacles to be non-existent and then will continue to work perhaps they're working themselves and they will continue to work on themselves they will continue to improve themselves <laughs> right and uh, the ten of cups on the bottom of the deck is a card of a commitment or marriage that card is often referred to the happily ever after card okay so yeah it's it was a difficult journey but i think you guys can definitely uh, get the show back on the road all right so, yeah, that's what I have for you, Cancer, for this reading, for the second half of November. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Cancer, have an amazing the rest of the month.